Previously to coming to uh, Carnegie Mellon, I did my undergrad at uh, West Virginia University. I was a chemistry and biology major and um, did a lot of coursework and also got involved in research. I worked at a plant physiology lab and also uh, got involved with analytical chemistry research. We were doing uh, uh, capillary electrophoresis and uh, my, I had no programming experience prior to coming to Carnegie Mellon. I was mainly a wet lab kind of guy. I got, um, was involved with like neuroscience and uh, molecular biology. During undergrad, I, like, the, the original plan was to go to medical school, and uh, that's why I started off as a biology and chemistry major. And uh, during that time, that, that continued to be kind of a goal of mine and, until I got involved in my last research program in the analytical chemistry lab. Um, I had my own project for the first time and kind of felt ownership over what I was doing so I uh, started to think about other options than just medical school and decided that I think I, I thought it was best to take two years and do a, a more research oriented program and uh, this seemed to be a good fit uh, there was a lot of interesting research going on at uh, CMU and also um, it would give me like a, a, a more computer science uh, component to my education that I was kind of missing into that point. The coursework that most benefited me was uh, from like uh, the basic computer science courses that I took uh, because I didn't have prior experience in that. Uh, a lot of the course, a lot of the uh, information I learned was so generalizable that it wasn't just specific to either the Java language or to the problem we were working on. I've used a lot of the concepts in, for example, graph theory, even in my own research right now. Um, also, the machine learning courses at uh, Carnegie Mellon are really top-notch. I learned a lot about statistics and machine learning that, again, I also use uh, very frequently. And um, program-specific, uh, uh, for example, the course that Dr. Schwartz teaches, uh, a lot of the concepts are uh, given in uh, kind of, uh, con uh, they're, they're given in light of cell modeling, but they're so easily generalizable that you can really use them for anything. So I think the real strength here is both the specific, uh, specificity and generalizability of the coursework. Before coming here, I already knew research was a really important part, at least very important to me, and uh, I knew I wanted to get uh, working with a lab right off the bat. Uh, I found the, uh, the Ahrens group, uh, led by uh, Dr. Eric Ahrens, and I worked with them for a year. Um, he does research on contrast agents for MR imaging, and um, I started off working on a cell project and eventually learned uh, basic um, MR physics and got uh, took some images so it was a nice uh, a nice range of experiences and I, I also got very interested in image analysis as a product of this experience. I did my internship with the NIH. I worked with a group down there uh, led by uh, Dr. William Theodore. Um, it was with the clinical epilepsy section. Uh, we took um, uh, fMRI images of um, patients with epilepsy and um, my project was to see if we could find substructure within those patients or find different uh, patient subgroups that could be helpful in diagnosis. Um, this is a really great experience and it eventually led into my thesis research which I wrote a thesis on this work and uh, we just submitted a paper about two and a half months ago and we're still waiting for review. So the internship was a really, it was uh, probably one of the most useful experiences that I've had up until this point and I'm currently doing uh, research uh, very closely related to what I did then. I just uh, finished up this program, uh, got married and moved to Baltimore. Uh, right now I'm doing a, a summer rotation which is part of an MD-PhD program at the University of Maryland at Baltimore. Um, and it, for the next seven years I'll be a student, so uh, it's, uh, I start coursework this coming fall. So um, it's, a, it's a nice combination of my interest in medicine and the uh, interest in research and uh, it's come together very well in like a cohesive career. Um, the support I got here was really instrumental to getting in there, both in the, uh, the essays and uh, in the interview experience. They uh, really help you uh, with applications and things like that. I feel like with any uh, program that has like a specific focus, there's always going to be the more frequented path. Uh, for example, in computational biology, the first thing that comes to mind is like bioinformatics or proteomics or genomics. Um, and while those are really important fields, they're uh, not the only field to get interested into. Uh, for example, I 
really got into medical imaging, and I think it was really nice at Carnegie Mellon that the support is there, that they give you that flexibility that you're able to um, pursue whichever interest you might have, and there's also the, the, the faculty here that's was probably doing whatever you're interested in. Um, so my advice is to kind of uh, keep in mind what you want to do and not just uh, follow, follow along with the, th the first thing that comes to mind.